Welcome back to Creative Energy. I'm here with Alia and the beautiful, epic, and always innovative San Francisco, California, where we both live. And we're here to talk about creativity, the feminine movement of entrepreneurship and artistry, and how collaboration is the true nature of the feminine creative spirit. Hi, my name is Alia. I am a musical artist and coach and creator of Femvolution.com. I designed a video training called Cultivating Creative Confidence and a program that supports creative visionary women to realize their projects in the world called Radiant and Rocking It. Well, I'm inspired to share about women in entrepreneurship in particular and the creative expression and spirit with which they they create their offerings. It's really unique the way women have tapped into this concept of co-creative leadership and partnership and collaboration and they support each other to bring their good work out to the world. This way of doing business I think is, is really where we need to go as creatives and entrepreneurs. This is what is going to support us to disseminate our messages, to really allow people to experience our work, and do it in a way that's not about competition, but that's about mutual support and respect and recognition, and honoring that every one of us has a unique way of sharing our work with the world. We have a unique voice, we have a unique set of experiences, and a unique way of supporting people. And we each bring something unique to the pie. And so women have really tapped into this formula and realized that we can't all do it alone. We have to do it together. We have to be co-creative in the way that we, we bring our work to the world. And that is what supported me in transitioning my work from simply just being an artist to really being able to take that message of creativity and accessing our creative power to more and more women who really, really need it, who need to know how they can tap into their genius. Yeah, I think it's very appropriate. Here we are talking about the feminine spirit, the creative life force, entrepreneurship, artistry, all in the front door of one of the most innovative and creative cities in the world, San Francisco. And as we look out upon this beautiful city here, what do you think is the future of creativity and women's empowerment? Well, I see that there's still a lot of women around the planet who don't feel empowered, who are longing to be liberated in some way. And they find themselves stifled in certain structures and models and cultural norms that keep them feeling really small. And I think creativity, when we access more of that, when we nurture that, when we help women tap into what that is in themselves, that's how new ideas get formed. That's how mm -hmm. innovative new expressions of, of ideas and, and visions and, and things that really will change the planet will come about. So when we when we give opportunities for women to find their creativity, to find that new idea within themselves, to open up into something that's different than what has been, that's what's going to create change. Femvolution is is my name for, for the movement that I see happening of women really stepping into more of their personal liberation and their personal evolution. And what I see is that when, when each woman puts attention on liberating herself, her voice, her message, her particular essence and genius, her gifts to the world, when 
when one woman becomes liberated, then she's doing the work for more of her sisters around the world. And I see that, that we are all in a web. And when, when we have the opportunity to really break out of the shackles that many of us have found ourselves in just through our culture or our, our family, our, you know, societal expectations, um, you know, that there's, there is then a wave that gets created. And my, you know, my big vision that I see is that, is that the more women that I can touch and support to liberate themselves and the more that women across the planet in parts of the world that don't have the same freedoms that we do can, can get that idea of, of finding a way to liberate themselves. And there's a, there's a movement that can get created. And I've also noticed that creativity seems to be a big part of the women's revolution. There's a creative spirit that comes very naturally to women. And how would you see creativity really influencing uh, this femvolution, this uh, divine feminine movement of business, empowerment, collaboration, and creativity? I think... I think women are looking for ways of coming together that are a more creative solution to to the problems that we're having. Women naturally gravitate towards co-creation, towards collaboration, towards supporting the others, supporting each other to really step into their full power. And so I see that, that creativity really supporting the development of different ways for people to become more connected, different programs that are being birthed, different, different uh, organizations, and a quality of partnership that's really, really needed. I see that women are really leading the 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 way with this message and creativity in particular is really it's not just about our artistic expression it's not just about unlocking our artistic products but it's more about the creative energy with which we come at challenges and the way that we create solutions and the creative force is what is going to help us innovate. It's what's going to help us actually find those things that, that create new paths, that create new ways for people to begin to address major challenges and problems that we're facing on the planet. Very well said. Yeah, I've had a lot of deep experience working with empowered female business owners that are representing a new form of creativity, a creative spirit. And so I've been able to actually collaborate them on large scale projects and different forms of media and, and business development. And they've shared a lot with me about these, this magic you're talking about, this uh, feminine spirit. So I, I can really relate to that and, and really want to acknowledge how important it is and how incredible it is to work with. It, it re really is a, a powerful, creative life force energy that can be really taken into to new realms of education and business. Mm, yes, absolutely. The, the trend that I'm seeing, particularly in uh, women's entrepreneurship, is that women are, are coming together to really support each other in not just the growth of their businesses, but the, the growth of their message, the growth of the, the potentially life-changing products that, that women are creating. And they're realizing that the way to reach more people with those things is to come together and to support each other in that co-creation. And so there's a lot of things like affiliate partnerships and um, different women's organizations and events and things like that that bring those women together so that they can find each other and support each other to disseminate 
their message and their work on a far bigger platform. And that, I think, is really exciting. It's a way of taking out the competitive culture from, from that story and really allowing women to find solutions together and to grow together and to, to bring their particular piece of the pie because each of us has a particular unique life experience that we are sharing in a particular way of supporting people in a particular way of creating our offerings that is unique to us and we each offer that that one slice of the pie that is that is ours and then but when we come together it becomes all the more impactful and powerful and and it's really exciting it's really exciting to be a part of that. Thank you. Yeah. Let's see. Any other questions? Mm -hmm. So, Alia, how has creativity helped you when you've been facing great challenges in life? Creativity has been the place where I have experienced my solace <laughs> where I've, I've gone when things are so painful. It's the place where I experience my, my power and my ability to shift my situation. When I engage with my creative expression, it immediately lights me up. It, it radiates this quality of, of joy and pleasure, which when I, when I really tap into that, when I let myself completely follow that, that feeling, that sensation, then just dissolves any, any feeling of challenge that I might experience. It helps me come back into union with that quality of spirit and, and that trust and the feeling of flow and and that sense that I'm tapped into something much bigger than myself. And what I've noticed, particularly to give an example, when I was, this was a number of years back now, I was building my business and struggling with that. And I found myself, found my way into music and DJing, which was something that I'd had a passion for since I was really young and had all this training, but hadn't really done a lot with it. And then I had this opportunity to follow it. And I did because I knew at the time I just needed to do something that would have me feel lit up and feel good again. And I had no idea where it would go or if I would actually you know, make money from it or anything. It wasn't about that. It was about just letting myself do the things that brought me joy and pleasure. And when I did, it, the, the feeling and the essence and the experience started to become infectious. <laughs> and people loved what I was doing and I loved what I was doing. And I was just, there was just this pleasure and joy that was getting transmitted through that, that creative expression. And then it grew and grew. And then what I noticed was that that creative way of being in the world then also began to bleed over into the way that I was doing my business. And that feeling of joy began to bleed over as well. And, and then things really started to shift for the positive in my life. And I believe that when we are tapping into that creative expression, that vein of creativity, we are tapping into the force of creation itself. And I believe it's intricately, intimately connected to that feeling of joy. And when we let ourselves go there, I see, I see problems just fall away. I had this wonderful insight when you were sharing that it feels like challenges and problems are, are things that happen to our human experience, you know. But the creative spirit is like this courageous, heroic spirit that can shift that limited belief that this problem is that dramatic or that big. And we see it more of just happening to our, our personal, individual selves and this human body but that the creative spirit is the creative life force and it can 
outshine and outradiate that, but also give you a larger perspective beyond that so you don't get as tied up in the emotions of, of the challenge and you get to see it as more of a creative opportunity to create something new, that there's an opportunity awaiting you know, on the other side of the challenge. Can you share with us uh, a few of the great daily practices that you do that awaken and charge you with creative energy? Some of the most powerful practices are also some of the most simple. For me, it's about coming back to the foundation of of how well we take care of ourselves. And because when we are well charged up, when we're when we're well nourished, when we're well taken care of, that opens up the creative channel. And so for me, what I do is I I eat really, really well. I nourish myself with great green foods and superfoods. I put a lot of attention on having quiet time and meditation time. Um, I pray in front of my altar. I I do a lot of yoga and I go for hikes out in nature. Nature is a it's one of the quickest ways for me to unlock from the kind of more mind oriented kind of rational place and and just come back to a more expansive place when I spend time out in nature. And I would say I also just put a lot of attention on having a really balanced life, having really nourished my relationships, having a lot of time um, doing doing things other than work, having dancing a lot. Oh, dancing is one of my one of my quickest paths to to access my my creative juice because it just it completely drops away anything that is stuck and caught and and overly um, mind oriented and it allows me just to get really down into my body and allow myself to tap into that vein of ecstasy. Uh, well said. Yeah. I mean, creativity is simply, purely just a stream of energy. And if we look around us, our environments and the choices we make, whether to have different practices or not, are available to us every day. So if you think about the superfoods that you can put into your body, how much energy they have and how they may translate into deeper states of creativity, the creative flow that comes from high vitality energy foods. I mean, it's, it really is that simple. You know, nature is one of the most beautifully complex, gorgeous, creative designs of, of anything visually we can take in. And then it's got a bunch of other health nutrients and wellness factors to it. And there's so much energy out in nature. So if you combine all of these simple little practices and you go out and try and do them every day, it just seems like there's a plethora, an overabundance of creative energy that is really waiting for us to optimize and, and to bring it into our, our fully conscious, awakened state of living. Yeah, it's exciting to know that there's so much out there that we've, we've kind of turned our backs on that are just right within our reach to really cause huge transformational shifts in our creative energy. The, the simple everyday choices that we make, and we we all of as you said, all of those things are at our fingertips all the time, and it's up to us to be the empowered creators that we are to make those choices that are going to support that rather than drain away our energy. And we're always presented with infinite ways that we can do that or not do that in the way that we live our lives. Describe the bridge that is being formed right now between artists and the artistry path and that of an entrepreneur, a risk taker in business and one, one that sees opportunities. So what is this bridge being created between artists and entrepreneurs? 
Well, I see artists and entrepreneurs as very, very similar because we ultimately have the same creative impulse. We are interested in expressing through a different channel than the traditional channels. And we're interested in breaking out of particular ways of doing things and particular structures and offering things in a new way. And as you've said, Davin, you know, the path of the artist is very much about self-expression and the path of the entre entrepreneur is often about contribution. And the trend that I'm seeing is that artists are discovering that j just the artist's path without the, without knowing how to get themselves out into the world, without knowing how to share their work in an effective way that reaches people, that that's really limited. And so there's this trend of artists becoming more interested in discovering how to become more entrepreneurial, how to, how to take their message and actually deliver it in a bigger platform in a way that is multidisciplinary, in a way that is actually going to reach the people that they really want to reach. I think that is one of the most empowered ways to approach our art, is to not just create it for the sake of creating it, but then also create it with the intention of sharing it. And I think that when we become really skilled at sharing it, then what happens is that there's a feedback loop that gets created. There's a an opening. I believe that our creative energy wants to be given. It wants to be shared and received and experienced. And becoming entrepreneurial as an artist and becoming empowered in those ways makes that possible. And then similarly for entrepreneurs, there's a trend that they are wanting, wanting to become more creative in the way that they express themselves in their business, in their personal brand, and in the way that they market. And that, I think, is really exciting because it's, it's moving people from a cookie-cutter model into more of an expressed model where people really get to play with how they share themselves with the world and, and how they express their product. Awesome. Yeah, I've been noticing artists becoming more interested in providing social value, like creating epic artistic projects with other artists and investors and innovators that have social value. So it's beyond their individual self-expression, the lone artist in the studio. They're becoming, you know, very interested in, in the creative energy for the entire planet and the social structures. And entrepreneurs are becoming more artistic. They're embodying deeper levels of innovation and creativity that they see now as having great results towards what they can innovate through their entrepreneurial path. And so that's a, a powerful bridge, I think, being built. And the Hub is a great example of a global organization and centers of co-working spaces where artists, entrepreneurs, investors, departments of the city come together and create a whole new social system for the city to really thrive in. And they open up the great dialogue and with great questions about some of the challenges we're facing and then go head into the right into the great work and solve a lot of those through a multidisciplinary think tank, you know, collaborative sessions. And it's a powerful world when art and entrepreneurship comes together. And that's what we really hear about at the Creative Energy Studio is shining a spotlight on, on this new path of art and entrepreneurship. And we look forward to bringing you more of these amazing videos. Thanks again for tuning in to Creative Energy.